So one of the peop reasons people commonly come to couples therapy is there's been an affair. And affairs can be devastating to a marriage or a relationship. It makes people feel, they can feel shamed, they can feel humiliated, that makes them feel like they're unattractive, they feel hurt, devalued, rejected. And couples need a lot of advice at that point. And from my perspective, the person who had the affair has to start and have a lot of leadership uh, by way of amends. They have to take responsibility, they have to show their dedication, they have to be willing to make a lot of changes in order to win back the trust of their partner. They have to be able to take and hear their partner's anger and hurt for a while. I typically say you have to assume it's gonna take a year or two years sometimes. It's not infrequent if there's been an affair for somebody in a, in a marriage to be triggered by something on the TV you know, or a movie several years after the fact. And you have to remain in an empathic position. Now, that said, it seems to work the best in terms of healing a marriage when the person who was cheated on can actually acknowledge some degree of responsibility. Now, I'm not saying that every time somebody has an affair, it's because the other person uh, caused them to have it. The person who has the affair has to take 100% responsibility. They can say, I felt rejected, devalued, unloved. I was seeking that elsewhere. But that ultimately isn't a complete excuse because they could have done other things with those feelings than they had an affair. But that said, the person who was cheated on, it goes much better if he or she can say, I understand, I did make it hard to, on you. I could see how you didn't feel loved or appreciated, or I did shut down the sex, or I was devaluing of you, or you, you were being rejected in the marriage. That's if that's true. I don't think that people should make it up. Sometimes people have affairs because they just want to have an affair, because they think it's fun, or they're trying to reclaim something important about their own identity or self-esteem that actually has nothing to do with their partner. It isn't like people only cheat in bad marriages. Sometimes people cheat in good marriages. So I don't feel like in that situation the person who's cheated on really is obligated to do that. But in many cases when an affair happens, that is the reason.